Hey love, it's Reese here, founder of Yes Supply, certified master life and success coach, hypnotherapist, EFT practitioner, and NLP practitioner. Yes, I am obsessed with mindset work. And today I'm gonna to be continuing on my NLP series, so my Neuro Linguistic Programming series. So if you haven't watched the videos, I'd say go back to number one where I explain all about what is Neuro Linguistic Programming. And essentially it's the programming language of your mind. So hopefully you're all caught up in my Neuro Linguistic Programming series. This is perfect for you, again, if you wanna change your entire life, or maybe you're like me and you're a coach or a personal development influencer, and you're searching for more tools to help yourself deeper and help your clients on a deeper level. I'm gonna be sharing with you some content that you probably won't be able to find for free anywhere else on the internet. So today we're talking all about creating goals and the right way to create goals. And I'm gonna be teaching you this as an excerpt from my Yes Supply Method certification. So I'm literally going to be taking it right from the manual. And if you know anybody who's a coach, a hypnotherapist, works with the mind, and you feel like this content could be really valuable for them, definitely hit the share button below. Go ahead and share it with people who you know need to hear this. So I'm going to be talking all about creating achievable outcomes. It's actually something that I teach in the coaching certification, and it's absolutely life-changing. And what we do is we have our students if you come to the live training, set their goals at the beginning of the week, and it's amazing how many people achieve them by the end of the week. So it might be doing their first live stream, or coming out of the coaching closet, or attracting their first client, and so many of them set these goals, and by the end of the week, they're telling me, oh my gosh, it already happened, or it happened even better than I could have imagined. The first thing that you wanna do when you're setting goals, you want to get the specific outcome, and this is really important to know if you're a coach or you're setting goals, in your own life because unfortunately most people know exactly what they don't want but they're not really clear on what they do want and this is what actually leads to looping in your life so if you've seen yourself working the same job that you dislike or you end up in the same negative relationship or no matter what job you go to your boss is always mean to you whatever it is when you start to see those same patterns show up in your life it's not a coincidence it's a pattern that is programmed into your subconscious mind and what's happening is your past story your past beliefs of who you are your identity are shaping what you believe is going to happen to you in your life and therefore when you're creating your future based on your past you go into a loop because you're looking for past experiences or what you're used to that create your future and so the only way that you can move forward in your life is when you're able to break free of those past patterns and then create from a new place. And I can tell you that from experience because this is something that I picked up on quite a few years ago when I realized, oh my gosh, my mom was in a string of negative relationships and I don't want that to happen in my life. And so what can I do to empower myself, create the boundaries that I need to create in order to make sure that my relationships in the future don't turn out in a bad way? Actually, this is the interesting thing to do do right before we move forward is I want you to think about what are some of the patterns that you might see in your own life. So let me know in the comments if you feel comfortable with sharing. It could be people stealing your light. That was something that I picked up on when an old boss at a job that I used to have would essentially take credit for the work that I was doing and get the limelight for the work that I was doing. And I could have looked at that person and said, you're a bad person. How dare you do that? You should give me credit. But what's more empowering and what actually allowed me to break that pattern completely was looking in myself and asking myself, how is it that I'm showing up and how is it that I'm treating myself that allows other people to think that they can treat me that way? Because essentially people, without even realizing it, a lot of the time will push to see just how far they can push and if they can get away with things with you, they will. But when you respect yourself and you have strong boundaries, that won't happen. It's kind of like something that have come up for a lot of my clients when they come to me and they're like, 
people keep trying to bargain with me or ask for discounts on my coaching. And when I hear that, I'm like, that's so weird because that never happens to me. But I know why it doesn't happen to me. It's because the way that I show up energetically without even needing to say, you know, this isn't gonna be discounted or whatever, people know there's no point in trying to push that boundary because that's just not gonna happen. But with other people who might be new coaches who maybe don't have the experience or the confidence yet or don't have the tools in their toolkit yet, Yet, so they're not showing up with that confidence that they can make that shift in their client's life subconsciously their clients pick up on it and that's what makes them ask for a discount because remember that 93% of your communication isn't your words 93% of your communication is your tonality and your physiology I talked about that in a previous video that is dictated by what's happening in your unconscious programming and if your unconscious programming says you're not good enough then it's gonna show show all over your body and it's going to show in the tone of your words. So let's keep going. So we first want to get the specific outcome and that doesn't just mean saying something like I want a nice big house. It's getting super clear. So the main modalities that we work with in NLP are visual, auditory, and kinesthetic. And so when we're setting a goal, we want to make sure that it's clear in our client's mind so that they can see what they would see. They would hear what they would hear and they would feel what they would feel. So for example, if they want to make 10K a month, just say you're working with a client or you yourself want to make 10K a month. It's not enough to just say, oh, I want to make 10K a month, but you want to make it really real in your mind. What would you see around you if you were making 10K a month? Would you see testimonials come in? Would you see a beautiful office that you work from? What would you hear? Would you hear people saying how amazing your work is? Would you hear a round of applause from your audience at the workshop that you lead? And what would you feel? Would you feel a sense of pride, a sense of gratitude, a sense of hope? What are those feelings that are in your body? That's super important to know when you set any goal. And you want to make it compelling because of course, if you're motivated to go after the goal, that's what's actually going to help you create it. There is the law of action in the universe. Everyone talks about the law of attraction, but there is no attraction without action. And that doesn't mean it has to be hard work or you have to slave away, but you have to do something. Your dream client isn't going to call you up if you're just lying in bed all day. You have to go out and see them or you have to make a video so that they know that you exist or something, right? You have to go maybe to the coffee shop and talk about what it is that you do. For every single person it's different because you're going to download your own unique inspired action, but what action are you going to take? Because the universe is going to respond to the energy that you put out. So put in that energy that you know that it's already going to happen for you. The next is find out the present situation. If you were going to go to California, you would have no way of getting there if you didn't know where you were now, right? You can't just start driving south hoping that you'll get there because what if you're in Mexico? Just because Bob said he drove south to get to California doesn't mean that you have to drive south as well. Your life is unique. Your experience is unique. How things are going to work for you might be different than how things are going to work for other people. So that's why you need to find out what what is your present situation? What is the experience that you have? What wins have you already created that you can build upon? These are important things to know because you might realize when you take note of your present situation where you are right now, you're actually further along than you realize and you actually have all the tools that you need to be successful and it's just a matter of using them. So that's why it's so important to find out where you are now because then you can really see how close you are to that goal that you want. Next in setting an achievable outcome, so goal setting, is finding out the evidence procedure. So again, if you're working with clients, you would ask them, how will you know when you have it? So how will you know that you've created that 10K month? And if you're just working on yourself, you're setting goals by yourself, then you wanna ask yourself, how will I know when I have it? Will you see it in your bank account? Will you instantly go to Chanel and buy yourself a new bag? What is going to be that signal, that symbol, 
people that yes I have it because our minds are very symbolic and there's been so many times where I've manifested something so I've gotten really clear I've set an intention of what it is that I want and then I just let it go there's been times where I've actually journaled something put it out to the universe kind of forgot about it and then later on I'm going back through my journal and I'm like whoa like that's exactly what I wrote down that actually happened and I was just so in the moment enjoying what I was doing I didn't even realize that it already manifested it's in those moments that you got to show some gratitude that your manifestations have showed up the next thing that you want to do is you want to ask yourself is it congruently desirable meaning are you fully and completely in alignment with achieving that thing because here's the thing a lot of people say things like I want more money but if deep down you fear that making more money means that you'll have less time with friends or making more money means that you'll have less time with your family or it means too much responsibility or, or you'll be stressed out then you won't be in alignment and that's often when people keep setting goals but they don't move forward it's often because of a beliefs conflict or a values conflict meaning a family is a high value for you but you believe that by going out and making more money you'll have less time with your family that's going to create a value use conflict and you're gonna get in your own way you're gonna do something to self-sabotage to procrastinate to get in your own way and you're going to often beat yourself up saying why can't I just put that live video up or why can't I just make that phone call and it's because there's a values conflict or there's a beliefs conflict okay so you want to get really clear do I truly want this have I eliminated all the things that make me feel like I can't have it or it's not possible for me. NLP helps a lot with this, but if you don't know neuro-linguistic programming, you haven't taken a course yet, then one of the things you can do that will help get started is by reframing what might be currently in your way. So for example, if you want to have your first 10k month, but then you notice that you keep self-sabotaging, you want to ask yourself, is there drawbacks in any of these contexts? And if you realize, even though this doesn't make sense, I believe that if I make more money, I'll have less time with my family then it's up to you to reframe it. So how can you re-explore that thought process and see it in a way where it actually works well for you? Meaning, could you imagine a life where because you make more money, you can actually spend more time with your family because if you make more money, then maybe you can hire people to do the things that you don't want to do, thus creating more time with your family. Or another way that you could look at it is, well, if I make more money, then I can take my family on beautiful trips and so that means I'm actually gonna get incredible quality time and life-changing memories with them that I wouldn't have gotten if I was just at home where I couldn't take them on vacation if you have a belief that's getting in your way for example I actually struggled with this belief for a long time that if I make more money or I have nice things people won't like me and what I realized was I did some time techniques work and I went back to a memory from a past life Life. in this past life or in this past generation this was happening in this memory while I was doing some mindset work I had shown up at school in a new dress and I got beat up by all the other kids because it was the depression at the time and most people didn't have new things and so it angered them when I showed up in this new thing for whatever reason whether it was embedded in my DNA or it was embedded in my memories I brought this belief into the life that I'm currently living and I had this subconscious fear that if I have nice things that means danger and so in this present life in my current life that I'm experiencing I had to reframe it and I thought of all the examples and times where somebody that I knew got something new like got a new car I got a new house or got a beautiful new dress and I didn't feel any hate or shade towards them in fact I congratulated them and I thought of all the situations where I have shared or celebrated to win and people are actually really excited for me or told me that by me sharing a win that I had it actually motivated them to show them what was possible and by looking at all these examples that disprove that negative belief it made it easier for me to move forward if you want to learn more about how you can do that for yourself either working with a hypnotherapist that does regression or working with an NLP practitioner that does time techniques will allow you to go back to the root cause of any of those negative beliefs 
beliefs and just get rid of them so you can actually live to your fullest potential and say yes to yourself instead of continuing to limit yourself. The next thing that you want to do when you're setting goals either for yourself or with your clients is establishing your resources. So resources can be tangible and intangible. Meaning if you're going to set out to start a business and you happen to have $20 million sitting in your bank account that you can use for anything, heck, that's amazing, right? Power to you. Most people don't have that though, right? So there's also intangible resources. And these resources are actually way more powerful than the tangible ones because there's a lot of people you and I both know that have all the equipment, all the gear, all the support, but they don't have the motivation and the desire, so they never move forward. But for you, if you have that motivation, the persistence, the desire, the willingness to do it, one of the things that we teach in neurolinguistic programming is that if you can see somebody else do it, then that's an example that you can do it as well. Because we really see everyone as equal, just people have different skill sets that they have worked on and developed, right? Nobody comes out of the womb being an incredible public speaker. It's something that you work on and you develop if that's something that you want to be really good at. What we teach is that if you can see someone doing the things that you want to do, then you want to ask yourself, what resources do they have? So it could be that they're great with people. It could be that they're an amazing communicator. It could be that they have passion and drive to help others. It could be that they're very generous with their content. And if you can see that in other people, those key attributes that have made them successful, then you can actually model that in yourself. And so before I knew neurolinguistic programming, before I knew the shortcut to reprogramming my mind, I actually did this the hard way. So I knew that I wanted to be a public speaker. I knew that being able to communicate was something that I really, really wanted to do. Like just the fact that I've been talking on this video for about 20 minutes is just insane to me because a few years ago, I would run out of things to say in like two minutes. What I did was I started going to Toastmasters and I started putting myself out there to speak in front of small groups and I felt so much fear. I felt like I was going to throw up. I felt like the blood flowing through my body. I felt hot. I felt anxious, but I pushed myself and I forced myself to get through that energetic barrier that was keeping me small to break through it so I could be on the other side of living in my most expansive self, which meant being my most expressive self. And so I did it the hard way. Now, if I had known hypnosis at the time, and if I had known neurolinguistic programming at the time, then I probably would have just done a few techniques and I would have been able to eliminate that fear so easily and so effortlessly. But hey, you live and learn. I know the new way now and I can help my clients and I can help. So anyway, if you can see someone doing something amazing, I want you to know in your heart of hearts that you are capable of doing it too. It might take a bit of practice. It might take a couple late nights, whatever it is. But if you really want it and you're willing to dedicate the time and the focus, put away all the social media apps and put away all the distractions and focus on how can I better me? You know, some things I would do is I would practice in front of the mirror. I would record videos of myself and it was actually embodying it and doing it that helped me get to that next level. So ask yourself, do you know any examples of people who have achieved what you want to achieve and what resources did they have? And also ask yourself, if you can imagine yourself already having achieved that thing, you have the 10K month or you bought the dream house or you have the dream partner or whatever it is, ask yourself, what resources did you have in order to get that? Maybe it's being a nicer person. Maybe it's going out and being more social. Maybe it's spending more time by yourself, getting to know yourself on a deeper level. Again, for everyone, it will be different and that's why all of our roads are unique. But understanding this practice of where we are, what resources we need, and how we're gonna get there is part of creating our action plan. Then you wanna write it out in present tense. So essentially, if you wanted to achieve a certain goal by September 31st, 2019, then you would write it out like, it is now September 21st, 2019, and I'm so happy and grateful now that I have achieved blank. So insert your goal right there. And then you would add in, I see this, I feel this, I hear this. So what did you see around you? Might be people giving you a round of applause. What did you hear? Might be people giving you compliments and testimonials. And what did you feel? It might be so much pride and gratitude and empowerment. And then you would write out, I 
achieve this goal because I am and then write in all the resources that you wrote down. So because I am powerful, because I am brave, because I am generous, because I am kind, because I speak before being spoken to, because I am bold, whatever it is, write those down and keep that little card there with your goal because in my next video, I'm actually going to help you do a little exercise with you that makes that more real, but you keep that with you and you focus in on the goal and from that goal, you can actually create an action plan in an upcoming video as well. So just make sure you click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified when I come up with new videos. I'm going to be creating two videos, one that's going to help this goal become more real for you and then also one that helps you create an action plan to actually go out and make that goal a reality. And so again, this is great for you just for yourself. This is also great for you if you're already a coach. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope that this video was valuable to you and helped you create a really incredible outcome and see how achievable it is for you. I would love to know what are you working on? Let me know down in the comments and if it's something that I have experience with, then your idea might actually fuel my future content because I love creating content that helps you make your yes a reality in your life. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to watch the rest of the videos in my Neuro Linguistic Programming series so you can learn all the magic of the user's manual for the mind. And if you love this video, take a quick screenshot, share it with me on Instagram and let me know that you are watching because I love to hang out on Instagram and chat with you. So I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video.